Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to check out one of the most unique and most interesting Q&As from the developers of the game, which is basically like a patch notes, which kind of updates we are going to get. And it's been one of the most interesting ones which I have ever seen. So let's dive in and let's try to understand what we are getting from the developers of the game in the near future, right? There is like a couple of questions from the uh, community, I guess, and the answers, which will be really, really interesting for everybody in the game. So first question is, would you consider removing gem gathering fatigue mechanism and providing more ways for players to obtain gems? Well, the question is obviously mainly for free-to-play players because we uh, always want to have more and more gems in the game, right? Uh, and the answer, right? In update 1027, we added a, the new exchange house feature. At the exchange house, you will be able to use exchange coins to purchase gold, wood, ore, and mana and sell resources to obtain gems. Okay, let's stop here, right? It means that we are going to each exchange resources for gems. I already understand that the ratio will be horrible, but another way of getting gems, like even like 10 or 15 or 20 gems from like uh, other resources which we are collecting whole time already great addition to the game right i, I already approve it because i have said it before for a free to play player you have to gather 1000 gem every week and if it will be possible to get like 2000 gems like 3000 gems every week it will be like monumental for the free to play players because we will be able to get new heroes, we will be able to spend gems for treaties, for arrows, and at the end of the day, we will be able to get tier 5 units faster than before. I'm all about this change, I'm really excited, and I hope this will be added to the game and it will be like one of the most unique things which i have seen for any kingdom builder game like gathering gems all right there is fatigue but we have a feature we will have a feature which will allow us to exchange resources for the gems i like it so much we all we are also considering introducing limits to tradable resources in order to prevent market gluts and periods of price instability well nice i guess uh, there won't be like like price uh, like big difference in, in terms of prices right we hope that trading resources will provide players with a more stable source of gems at its at same time players will be uh, still be able to obtain gems through the gathering from gem mines the exchange house feature is still under development so check these rules in uh, check so check the rules in the coming update for more details i'm really really waiting for the more updates regarding this trading house or like what it's called like exchange house feature right uh, second question there's a lot of veteran players uh, to do will you be adding more events well great question because like i think almost every single call of dragons player have been asking for more events because events are like most fun activity in the game where you can get some free rewards by just playing the game right and also like and yet again more free to play rewards for free to play players in order to provide continuing enjoyment for our players, we will be hosting regular events on a monthly basis from August onwards. You will be able to exchange even more items for resources, speed ups, hero tokens, medals, and more. We hope this change will allow players to enjoy their time in the in the game even more. Yep, as I have mentioned before. Uh, events are really really important like unique events which we have not seen in any other games would be like amazing which will like tell us that call of dragons developers are thinking about making game as unique as possible because i think uh, this game is already unique in many aspects but events would be amazing right like this alliance quiz event which we already had like couple of couple of weeks ago i like it so much because it gave us a lot of enjoyment in terms of alliance members and we had a ton of fun and also the rewards were pretty good like gems some speed ups some resources like, like which we have seen here like resources speed ups hero tokens and medals are one of the most crucial things you want to get from the rewards right so more events always great to see always great to hear something like that from the developers of the game 
Third question, could you add the ability to set priority levels for different severely wounded legions and more policies rela related to the resource healing? Nice question. In the update 1027, we added a new feature that will allow you to filter through your units currently in your hospital and heal them with a single tap, simplifying the healing process. The update also reduces the base cost of resource healing in order to better meet players' players' healing needs. Well, well, ma mainly I'm a mar mar marksman main, right? Whenever I'm fighting, I'm only fighting with my archers, but sometimes I'm using like cavalry for fort farming. Uh, infantry for darkling tanking so i still have a lot of wounded troops in my hospital right generally my only priority is always to heal as much archers as possible and sometimes i need to manually like click which kind of unit i want to heal and it it's kind of boring right i, I would prefer myself to just click uh, like put archers as a priority let's heal full archers and let's continue with other legion type other units right so this change is great it gives us like less time to spend in hospital and it will be like more easier for us to fight because like clicking on hospital and like healing your troops is one of the most boring thing because you have to do it you have to check it all the time because every single day there's like exact amount of healing you can do and also if we are bringing like a, a resource exchange system for gems so we need to take care about our resources right so that's why i think uh, resource healing should be way less because so if this will be same amount and plus we need resources for research to recruit army to make some construction then it will be hard for the free to play players to simply have enough resources to exchange it for gems so this is pretty normal in my opinion and I, another question will you strengthen flying units in order to better balance unit type strengths great question because i think some some of the flying units need some more love especially forest eagles and maybe some more like wyverns like i would like to have wyverns to have more march speed in my opinion but let's see what the answer uh, player players have suggested us to to us that flying units are too weak and we will be making a number of changes to fix this in update including boosting flying units engineering stats and strengthening flying marksman skills keep an eye out for the further announcements we hope that these changes will improve balance between different unit types if you have any uh, other feedback regarding the strengths to different unit types we, we encourage you to rely to us well i'm not sure what's what's the matter about the engineering stats um, but as i have mentioned marksman skill already interesting and what's the most important they did not say anything about forest eagles which means like more and more important updates regarding flying uh, units will be about forest eagles because i think celestials are already great like best flying units in the game like people are generally using more celestials than any mages if you are a mage player you would agree in my opinion so like they gave us a marksman skill update some engineering stats which let's see what's what it's gonna be and i think they did not say about forest eagles because forest eagles are going to receive more update uh, between the flying units which we have in the game players have also suggested that uh, warnings should be issued if agreeable enemies like darkling darkling guards are detected in flying units flight path we think this would be a good addition to the game but we are still considering how to implement it we will update you soon about this topic right well whenever you are clicking your flying unit to move somewhere and there is like chest guarded by darklings they will generally attack you and you won't gonna see it, what happened how you lost your troops so i think it should be a great thing because well nobody likes to lose some troops whenever you are flying with your flyers to the battlefield then you have already half legion right another question could every hero have at least one free chance to reset their talent tree um answer in order to allow players to re realign their hero talents in accordance with their own strategic requirements after gaining experience with them we have decided to provide one free talent reset in future updates we are also looking at ways to improve the hero, hero talent system such as displaying what percentages of players choose certain talents but these improvements are still under consideration we, we thank you for your patience and encourage you to share your opinions on this subject with us well 
extra talent reset nice like anything which is free in this game which they will give us in which which will be free is amazing in terms of talents well i think it's great because you, you will have a chance to at least try something else besides what's meta that's what what we call uh like the best talent tree and then maybe people will start finding out that other talent trees are like workable and it's pretty fine to use so right now we, like after this update we will have a chance to try some some new things maybe we will like it maybe we won't but at least it will be free right so i think it's it's pretty good like anything which Call of dragon developers will give us for free is quite good and i'm all about that another question uh, can you expand the warped skill card storage capacity? Okay, nice question, mainly for free-to-play players, right? Because I think free-to-play players won't gonna spend gems for the storage capacity for warped skills. Since the introduction of warped system last September, we have we have made upgrades to it with, with each update since. We are happy that it has been such a big hit with players, and we'd like to thank you for all the suggestions regarding the system. With the passing of time, existing skill card capacity has gradually become less able to keep up the, with the speed at which players acquire skills from update upgrading your skill cards capacity will add much more storage space each time don't worry if you have already expanded your storage space as your storage will be increasing increased proportionally amazing nobody will be uh, spending some gems for storage gems should be spent for something else there are a lot more important things where you are want to spend your gems not like a storage capacity also you will be able to collect more skills for the future you never know which kind of skills will get buffed you never know which kind of skills will become meta and you never know which kind of warped they will introduce and maybe the uh, the skills which was not so much popular will become popular right that's why keeping the skills and having larger capacity for the warped skill cards is amazing and like everything which they will give us for free without spending gems or anything in the game i'm all about it right it's it's a great so far i think everything which they said in this q a have been like 100 percent amazing so i hope um everything which we will read next will be same as everything which we wrote uh, read already Another question, will you make it possible to upgrade skill cards directly from the skill card compendium? This is like one of the most important thing which I have thinking like all the time whenever I'm, I have tried to upgrade stars of, on the skills of the warped. So if they will make something like this, I will be so happy, right? In order to make obtaining and upgrading warped skill cards more convenient, we have made two major changes. Firstly, talent skill cards will be available for purchase from the Merit Store. Perfect. Already perfect. And more types of the skill cards will be available for purchase from the Crystal Store and Exchange House. So we understand that this new Exchange House will have even warped skills. Perfect. Secondly, we have added the quick upgrade feature for skill cards. Players can now quick upgrade zero star and one star skill cards directly from the compendium and you are guaranteed to receive the required skill cards after quick upgrading. Well, what can I say more, right? Like everything which we, which I'm like for myself, I have asked these kind of changes and this is not a patch note. This is a, like simple Q&A and I'm receiving all the answers which I wanted to hear, right? Uh, maybe there will be like some other people who would want to have more and more, but I think this game is only one year old and slowly we are moving to the direction which everybody will be happy at the, at the end of the day, right? every single feature which they added to the game they are making it better and better especially warped system and i have said it before warped system is one of my favorite systems which we have had in the call of dragons uh, will you be adding more gathering type talent skills and heroes interesting question right uh, we are excited to announce that two new gathering heroes will be added in the update keep your eyes peeled well what this tells us right uh, we are finally getting overall heroes. I'm interested if it will be both legendary or at least one epic one because we have not seen new epic heroes in the game since the launch, right? Uh, so I'm pretty sure at least one of them will be fighting like like Indies. You can you know, gather with Indies, but you can use Indies as a 
uh, fighter in pvp against other like players so i am really interested what kind of gathering heroes this will be right and also they did not say anything about talents and skills like only answer they give us about heroes so i think they are keeping uh some secrets from us because these two new gathering heroes will be with us after two updates because uh 1027 is the next update and the two new gathering heroes will be 1029 so i think it's really interesting um that's why i think they are like not announcing two new cavalry heroes uh, which they should have already in my opinion but we are getting two new gathering heroes guys like i want your opinions uh, about all of this stuff because it's been like a really really interesting one of the best q a's which i have seen uh from the call of dragons developers and everything which i have read from here i'm really really excited i want to check it out like as soon as possible and actually like besides the gathering heroes we are getting all of this in the future like next update which will be uh, 1.0.27 as always share your opinion tell me how excited you are because i'm really excited and as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck